good afternoon. Mark Howard here for Howard Aviation, your favorite CFI and light sport mechanic. Uh, when I first got my airplane, I had a little difficulty getting it started in cold weather. It's starting to get cold these days, and so you really want to maybe think about doing something to make your aircraft start if you have problems. Uh, I have two devices that'll alleviate that situation, and your plane will start in the coldest weather. Okay, the first thing I'd like to show you is a maintenance charger. You can get these at AutoZone, Checker, whatever. I guess it's O'Reilly now. Any auto parts store is going to have a maintenance charger. And the idea is that it just keeps your battery topped up. To do that, simply plug it into the 110 cord. Okay? You're going to need to connect your quick connector between here and the battery. Have it in an access panel. I put it in the oil check door. Okay? Just plug it in. That's it. After every flight, when I get back, it's all charged up, ready to go. So over time, if you leave your plane for a month, you come back, your, your battery is going to be totally charged, ready to go. The other thing is, okay, what does this do for cold weather? Well, it'll crank, but will it start? Okay. The problem is that when your engine gets cold, of course, you use a choke, but sometimes the chokes, especially on Rot on Rotax engines, which use the Bing Carb, and the Jabberies, which use the Bing, Bing Carb, the chokes aren't really made for cold, really cold weather, okay? So notice on my Jabberu, when you get down to about 45 degrees, I'd start seeing issues. And so this device really fixed that. And this is a cellular switch. This is a switch you can get on eBay, and you can communicate with it with your cell phone. Uh, so you buy the switch, and by the way, when you buy the switch, be sure that you get one that's compatible with your phone system, like US phones, and make sure that that's the case, and you have feedback for that. If you get the wrong switch or one that's not proven to work, and you get it from China, you probably won't be able to send it back. This is my second switch that I bought, to, and I finally got the right one. It works great. Go to your cell store. I use T-Mobile. Get a SIM card. SIM card's about 10 bucks, okay? And you're going to want to start a on-demand, uh, you know, char charge it up type account, not a data account or a voice account, but something where you can send text. T-Mobile has a plan, it's three bucks a month. You get 30, 30 minutes of talk and 30 texts. So 30 texts, 30 days of flying. So anyway, you take the cell switch, set it up, the instructions come with the switch. Go down to Lowe's, Ace Hardware. Home Depot, get yourself a milk house heater. I saw one of these on Amazon, $21 for the heater. So it's pretty cheap. You're gonna to need to put a piece of ductwork on the front and a hose to lead into your, to your cowling. Okay. Set that up where the warm air is gonna rise and heat the engine, okay? Once you've got it set up, we'll test it by sending it the proper text string. And I have that set up on my iPhone. I'll go ahead and send that. Now it takes just a minute. The switch is blinking that it's set and ready to go. When this light comes on, it'll be powering up the heater. That'll take a few seconds. Okay, there it goes. The light's on showing that I'm getting current to this outlet. And also I just got a verification. Switch, is, switch one is on, two and three are off. You can, uh, with this switch, Use up to three devices and control those with your cell phone. Okay. Um, now I'm getting 110 to my heater. The heater is running. I leave it on high. It's only a 1500 watt heater. So I can run it for 40 minutes to an hour. And when I get to my airplane hangar, that engine's all warm and ready to go. And it'll start. Doesn't really matter how cold it is outside. And uh, the heater works immediately. And so I don't have to wait for a warm up. When I start the engine, because the engine's warm and it's been preheated, uh, I don't get the wear associated with a cold start. Anyway, all these components, the heater, like I say, is about $20. You're gonna need five or $7 worth of materials on that. The switch, I believe, is 20 or $30. And the, uh, the uh, uh, maintenance charger is about $20, something like that. Uh, all together, you're gonna spend less than $100 and your plane will start uh, when it's called. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks from Howard Aviation. Take care. Safe flying.